tell us a little bit, what, what do you think this, the, I know you've just uh, had your 50th anniversary. Uh, talk a little bit about what made the band so successful over all these years. Well, you know, the band started back in 1964 as the um, Jazzy Acts, then the Soul Town Band, then Cool in the Flames, and Cool in the Gang. Now, the Soul Town Band, we had to back up the Soul Town Review. Now, the Soul Town Review was trying to be like the Motown Review. So we had to learn all of these uh, Motown songs. And um, it would happen maybe twice a month. And we had to back up at least 10 artists, local artists from Jersey City. And uh, then again, we left that organization. We became Cool in the Flames. And then we changed the name because you had James Brown and the Famous Flames. And we didn't want to have any problems with the Godfather. So we changed it to Cool in the Gang. Came out with our very first record in 1969. The record, the album, and the group was Cool in the Gang. So everything was Cool in the Gang. <laughs> and what's the secret of, of staying together for, for that amount of time? I mean, obviously there are very few acts that ever hit that kind of milestone. Well, we, um, we work, we worked hard at it. Uh, our parents always told us, whatever you do, stay together, stick together. And that's what we have done over the years. Now we lost uh, quite a few of our members. There's only two founding members left. And that's myself and Mr. George Brown. I lost my brother about a year and a half ago. Uh, Dennis Thomas, uh, almost six months ago and all the other members. So um, just like uh, in any family, you had, and you have, I should say, your ups and downs, and we always have been able to, to work it out for mm -hmm. over 50 years. And now we're still, you know, now just down to George and myself. Yeah. Trying to keep the legacy happening, and that's what we're doing. Yep, yep. So do you, I, I know it's like pick, picking your favorite child, but do you have a, a, a favorite song out of your very large uh, collection? That's a little hard, but um, a couple. First of all, Ladies Night, um, uh, I came up with the, the title and George came up with the music and my brother. And my wife and I used to hang out in New York at uh, Studio 54. Eugene's, and we realized that every Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night was ladies' night. So I went back to the band, and James J.T. Taylor had just joined the group, and that was our very first record. I said, I got a perfect idea. They said, what? The ladies' night. I said, well, you know, there's one of those all over the world. And so that's when we went and recorded ladies' night. So that, that would have to be one. Hollywood Swinging is another, and of course, you know, Celebration. 